Heather Alberto Savoia with lesson 4.1 on how to become an Apex Innovator. I call it 4.1 because I promised you in the previous uh, uh, mini lesson that I would talk to you about how innovation is experimentation. But before I explain that to you and you understand it and believe it 100%, I first have to introduce the concept of expected value. Uh, there is a very popular uh, book uh, for people who are pregnant. It's called What to Expect When You Are Expecting. And great title, by the way. And so the title of the se session is, subtitle is, What to Expect When You Are Innovating. And I'm going to start with a very, very simple example. Let me clear uh, the board here. Uh, an example that before we move to innovation, I want to just bring it down to the simplest possible case. Let's assume a friend... Bob comes to you and uh, tells you, hey, Alberto, I have a bet for you. I'm going to flip a coin, and if it comes out heads, you win $5, and if it comes out tails, uh, you lose $2. So is that a good bet or not? Well, let's see. This is what expected value of a bet or an investment is all about. So we start with this very simple example. So let's say uh, heads, if we get heads, you win plus $5. Plus five dollars. If we get tails, you lose two dollars. Now, assuming a fair coin and a, and a nice friend, what is the probability of uh, that the coin flips to heads? And I would say, well, not I would say, one half. Same thing. You have a 50 50 uh, percent chance of, of being heads or tails. Now, then what you do is, as to calculate expected value. First, you multiply for each possible scenario, there are only two in this case, the payout by the probability for the payout. So you have a plus $5 times 0 0.5, one half. So here you have a plus 2.5. Tails, you lose $2, you have a 50% chance of that, so you divide by two, and here you have a minus uh, $1. You add up these two, so plus 2.5 minus one, is equal to plus 1.5. So this is clearly a favor favorable uh, bet for you, right? For, for every dollar that you invest, you, you know, if you play the game long enough, you're likely to make uh, $1.5. So clearly a good bet. Now let's erase this and bring it back to the previous lesson where I explained to you the super Pareto distribution for a uh, innovation uh, payout, All right? So first let me erase this value because the mechanism is exactly the same uh, for expected value. So you remember from the previous lesson that I, I, I drew this, uh, this chart where uh, on this axis you have the payoff. So you have, uh, you know, here you have the 100x payoff, 10x payoff, and here you have the ones where you have a zero, uh, zero payoff or really, 1x uh, payoff. So what we've learned is that you know most most investment lose money, few make a little money, and very very few make a lot of money and represent the bulk of the uh, return. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in this chart. So we're going to calculate the expected value uh, of innovation. So what are our outcomes when, for our innovation? Well, one of them is failure. Uh, another one we have is uh, break even break even. I apologize for my penmanship. That's not one of my forte. So another one is success. And then another one is big success. And then we're going to have huge success. All right. So let's add some actual numbers to this. Remember, say it with numbers. So uh, the payout, if you fail, let's, let's assume in all of these innovations, you invest $1 million to make it easy. So uh, if you fail, you're off out $1 million. If you break even, zero, right? You invest a million, you make a million, you uh, break even. Success, let's say you get $10 million. Big success, you get $100 million. And huge success, you make a billion, uh, a billion dollars. All right, as you remember from that previous chart, these are the probability of, of this payout. So let's say, a 70% chance of failure, so 0 0.7 equal to 70%. Uh, Break-even, we gave it a 20% chance or thereabout. 
So uh, these are you know, 20 percent of the project you make back the money that you uh, invest and no more. So we're already at like 0.9, so 90 percent. Success is rare, and let's say let's give it 0.07. So 7 percent of your investment return 10x. Uh, big success, let's say 0.02. Uh, so 2% of the investment return 100. By the way, this is a little optimistic, but uh, stick with me. You have to be really good to get these numbers. And then you have the huge, huge success. And let's say that for this one, you have a 0 0.01. So this says you have a one chance in 100 of making a 1,000x return. Now, is this really crazy? Does it actually happen? Yes, it does, right? You, you do not count on it, but if you use the system and you use the math that I teach you and uh, follow these, uh, the rules, you know, it's better to be mathy than uh, to be lucky. And I explain why. So, okay, let's do the same calculation that we did for the coin. So if you have a 70% probability, 0 0.7 of losing $1, you multiply these two and what do you get? You get minus 0 0.7, okay? We multiply the, the payout by the probability. Here in break even, 0 times 0 0.2 doesn't matter because everything multiplied by 0 is 0. So that's uh, nothing. So let's go and look at success. This is a 7, by the way, not a, a 1. Uh, so I'll do it the, the Italian way. So you have a 10%, uh, sorry, you have a 10x uh, payout and you have a 7% chance of it. So this is a plus 0 0.7. Then we go down to this, you have a 2% chance of a 100 uh, uh, payoff. So here you have a, a plus two. And finally, you have a 1% chance of a thousand X payoff. So this is a plus 10. So some really interesting observations here, right? So if you go and look at about, in this case, 97% of the cases, right? So if you go and you look at the expected value, 97% of the time, right? 70% plus 20% plus 7%, these two payout cancel off, right? And this is zero. So most of the activity in innovation, you know, more than 90%, really it's a wash because you lose some and uh, you lose most, you win, uh, you win some. All the action, all the benefit, the only reason why you do this starts to be to happen down here right by the way so i want to erase this so remember if you like this channel please subscribe please comment and i will continue to make these videos and make you uh, uh much much smarter about innovation so i can erase this now but please do subscribe if you get a chance so uh so so far we have zero but this adds two right so we have a uh, plus two and this adds ten so you have plus ten so Here's the number. If we have this kind of breakdown of innovation, notice most of the, most of the ideas fail. Uh, many break even, few have a little mild success, uh, but you have some big successes and even uh, a huge success once in a while. So when you go and look at the expected value of making an investment in innovation using the system, you come up with this value of plus 12. Now, what does this translate to? You know, if we, if we simplify things, all right, so let's uh, erase this. So expected value is plus 12. This means that for every dollar that you invest, if these numbers hold or anything close to it hold, and they do hold, because we know about the law of large numbers, there's been a lot of innovation, uh, a lot of data about this. These numbers are, uh, you know, these distributions actually apply, that if you play it well for every dollar that you invest in innovation the smart way the smart way the way i'm going to teach you you will make say 12 dollars 12 dollars let's round it off to to 10. now how unlikely or likely is this scenario i mean because it, it almost sounds too good to be true I said look alberto you, you're telling me i have an investment where i can invest one dollar and i make 12 dollars i would say not so fast, my friend. In fact, not fast at all. Because there is a way, as we shall see, to play this game where you're pretty much uh, 
guaranteed to be successful. And there is another way of playing this game, which is pretty much guaranteed to make you fail. All right. But if you think, okay, these numbers, Alberto, this is uh, unrealistic. Uh, let me tell you, so I've, I've done some research. I have a lot of data. So I, as I've discussed many times in different uh, forums, there is a, a very tight connection between uh, the, the, the math for venture capital, the math for innovation, the math for entrepreneur and product managers, right? So the, the, it's all the same. Why? Because the Pareto principle, the 80, 20, 90, 10, and 95, 5 rule applies to all of them. So um, I want to, uh, I, I picked here, I looked at the return for a really successful uh, VC firm, uh, Sequoia, right? And over the years, you know, they make many investments in companies that are smart about doing these things. And depending, they have several funds, the funds called Sequoia 11 return 8x, Sequoia 12 from 2006 return 10.9, Sequoia 13, 2010, return 11.1. Now, Sequoia is one of the best uh, VCs in the world, so it's not surprising that they're this successful. But if you understand how this is played, you will achieve the same level of success. So hopefully now you understand expected value, right? Just remember the toss of a coin. It's just a, the, the payout multiplied by the probability, and then you add them all up. So now that you understand how it works, in the next um, video, we're going to discuss why innovation has to be experimentation to make this whole thing work and to make you win. So in the meantime, remember, uh, it's better to get mathy than uh, to get uh, lucky because over time you cannot count on luck. And I hope to see you back for uh, lesson 4.2. Please subscribe, share this with your friend, and I will continue to make these videos. Bye-bye.